had to polish up your uh, light bar lenses. So you can see these are kind of hazy and uh, kind of dirty. Um, I'm try to get around the front here because I haven't touched those yet. Uh, maybe a little hard to see. Uh, oh, here, this thing's not mounted, so I can kind of flip it out. Y'all can see. It's help if I had light here. Um, you can see they're kind of real dirty, real hazy. Um, got a couple of different ways I do this. Uh, just depends on how bad they are. It's pretty much a tack with uh, similar products you would use on your car. You know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean just the light dirt and stuff off. And for that we're just using uh, spray glass cleaner. On the top, on the lenses, etc. Um, this is wax. That was cleaning the inside stuff. So once we get the preliminary cleaning done, just get the dirt and stuff off. We get a couple of options. Um, one is we can use a rubbing compound. Um, another product I like to use, let me get that real quick. All right, another product I like to use is this stuff. This is cutting comp cutting polish. This is good for removing heavy oxidation. This wouldn't be my final step. Sometimes this is, um, but uh, I'm probably going to use this first to cut through all this nastiness that's there. Then I'm going to probably do the uh, buff with the rubbing compound just to really uh, buff out the lenses. And then the final step is uh, a sealer shiner and that's what this is a headlight sealer just to seal it so it doesn't get too messed up as far as the top goes this is aluminum so this will be an aluminum polish uh, we'll get that cleaned up I'll grab the aluminum polish all right so this is the aluminum polish uh really good stuff white diamond uh you got to really work it but it leaves a very good luster uh, another polish i will use is the uh Mother's uh, mag and aluminum polish that works good, too um, If it's really bad, I'll use that first and then we'll use the uh, white diamond, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna bore you with watching me do this, but I'm gonna do it in each step and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like Okay, so I'm gonna Stop the video here, and then I'll pick up on the after I uh, hit it with the cutting compound All right, so the cutting compound has been applied and the reason I can't show you while I'm doing this is I've only got two hands and I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time. So cutting compound's been applied and I've applied it to half the bar. So basically from the center out, uh, I've got the side one here. And uh, this stuff here works really good for removing oxidation. Um, it even works good on the aluminum. See? Works good on taking, cleaning a lot of stuff up. So you can kind of see that's already starting to look a whole lot better. So I'm going to, let's see here, on camera I'm going to do, I'm going to just wipe off this lens here. Now it's kind of dried. That's a brake light. You got a clean portion of the rag here. You kind of see how much of a difference it already makes just by using that. Oh, we got a little bit left in there. Look at the big difference that is. Okay. All right, now, so the center one here, this is the one I lightly did, just half of it. So, just kind of wipe off that half. Okay. So you can kind of see now, Big difference and this is just cutting compound this stuff works phenomenally a little left on the rag here I'm just gonna over a little more because I really didn't hit this one that hard but this will be a good comparison side by side after the cutting compound and this is this stuff here they got different brands but you can see already pretty much here is done this is not, and this is all oxidation, this right there. Um, 
I'll grab a clean rag so I don't have any contaminants. Clean rag. And I'll wipe at it and you'll see that stuff isn't going anywhere. That's oxidation built into there. And that's the side we did with the cutting compound. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the rest of this bar uh, pretty much all the way around and then we'll come back for the next step and you can see the big difference. So take a look at the before. Kind of cloudy, hazed, oxidized, same thing all the way around. So we're going to work on uh, the rest of the bar. Actually, I'm going to just do the right half. You'll be able to see as steps go the difference between each. So, uh, be back in a sec. Okay, so now we're back. You can see I've finished wiping off all that uh, lovely cutting compound. You can see from the top and the front of the lenses how much of a big difference that is. Remember what we got here, we got all this garbage that's stuck to our light. That's all oxy. And this has all been just clean. This is just with the cutting compound. Well, I'm not going to finish here. End cap, nice and shiny. Well, it even worked to get a lot of the stuff off up here. It uh, works pretty quick. You can see we got a lot of oxidation there. And it uh, already took a lot of it out of here. It's on the aluminum. Not doing the front, just because this is only a demonstration. I'm going to wind up doing the whole light bar. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to just do the right side. So, uh, next step is... I'm going to take it that one step further. And we're going to use... Sorry, look at my old batteries. We're going to use a uh, rubbing compound. It's just good old rubbing compound. This is going to take any garbage that's still left in there out. Cutting compound cuts through a lot of the stuff and gets it out. This is going to start our buffing process to polish. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to finish it off with the uh, sealer. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Alright, so we're all cutted up with the rubbing compound, nice and rubbed in. Uh, the trick to this stuff is you need to let it dry and then rub it off once it's dried. Um, and that will actually help with the rest of it. You can see we're all coated up, nice and shiny, or, you know, nice and lathered. Uh, this stuff can be a pain in the butt to get off once it dries. So when we get to that point, we'll use our uh, headlight sealer, uh, our shiner and sealer and protector. And a little bit of that as, uh, well, we'll get most of this off and then the stuff that straggles, well, that sealer will take off the rest of it. And then the only thing we'll have left to do after that is uh, just polish up this aluminum. So we'll come back when this is dry. All right, so we got done removing the uh, rubbing compound. I did notice that it kind of dull it up a little more, but it cleaned it more too. There was a lot of stuff that came off. You can see on our top portion there how it kind of left it. It took a lot of that shine off. Well, that was a residual from the cutting compound. And our end cap here, a little duller. Okay, so the next step we're going to do, and this is, uh, this is a process that I will use uh, some blue uh, paper towels on, uh, is the, uh, sorry, tire, is the headlight lens sealer. And this stuff here, uh, let's see, for new and restored lenses, keeps lenses clear and bright, protects uh, lenses from UV rays, seals out dirt and grime, prevents yellowing and hazing, etc. This is more of a sealer, because these things are kind of still a little porous, so we're going to go over the... The lenses with that. Not gonna use that up here because that's not gonna work too well up there. Uh, but we're gonna go with the lenses with that, and then we're gonna come back with the uh, the white diamond. And the white diamond actually, even though it's a metal polish, it works great on headlight lenses too. And I've tried it; it works phenomenal. So when I come back, you'll see I'll have uh, I'll have gone over this with the uh, headlight polish. Okay, so we're back. I'm just doing a little wipe down. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And uh, it works pretty good. Um, sometimes you have to put it on though, let it sit for a couple of days. Or you know, put it on, wipe it, buff it out. In a couple of days, put another coat. It starts to yellow out a little bit on you. Or not yellow, but shine starts to go away. You just come back, put another coat or two, and that's all it takes. Okay. All right, so. This is after the uh, the, poly, uh, the uh, protect it sealer and polish. Where the difference is, you can see on this lens right here. This is the one I stopped right in the middle. 
See the, all the stuff on the other side? And this kind of got hit with that polish too. They didn't take nothing off there. And those haze lines I think are on the inside. So, edges can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But it definitely seals it and shines it like it says it will do. Here's our end cap. Just make sure we get a nice big glide over that. That's a way big difference. See that end cap there? We're going to go over to the other side and look at the other one. Now you see how much yellow and crap that is. How much hazed up that is. Did I hit this one with the polish? No, I didn't. So, yeah, that's a big difference already between it. So the last step we're going to do is we're going to hit this top piece here. It's not going to take everything off, but it's going to shine it up quite a bit. And then uh, when we're all said and done, it's going to look pretty good, even though it's only half of the bar, or the corner and the back half. Um, yeah, when we're done, give you an idea. There's a tow light set up. There's an old uh, 9000 series or 9M series whaling bar. It's going to look pretty much like this one. How clean and crystal clear this thing is. And this came to me the same way. You know, you're not going to get everything out of the aluminum, but most of it is. And this came to me the same way, and it was a uh, pretty rough shape. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of elbow grease, and we'll be there. Okay, so I've done the white diamond polish. I may have to wipe it one more time. You can see the big difference on the aluminum. It didn't take everything out, and this is, like I said, sometimes I'll have to use the Mother's Mag polish, and it'll get a lot of this stuff out. Um, sometimes it takes one or two coats, rub downs. Uh, I did hit the lenses with the the white diamond, and you can see where we're at. Nice shiny polish. You do have to give this stuff a minute and let it uh, dry because it's still going to be a little bit of haze. I'll get some more uh, blue towels. Sorry, a little shaky with the camera, one-handed. So got another. Nice, lovely blue towel. We just go over this a couple more times. Sometimes you really have to work this stuff in and out. Um, this stuff stays a little wetter, a little longer, or it dries. I'm not quite totally thrilled with the uh, shine that we got here. I may do the cutting compound one more time on this. I won't do anything else after that. Uh, I'll do the cutting compound, and then maybe I'll do the sealer. Uh, just to see if I can get any more out and see you can see a nice rainbowy shine on that plastic now that is clean clean prismatic plastic it's the only problem with clear lenses on a light bar they yellow badly the color lenses not so bad um, and this could have had color lenses I mean that just has to match the color of the actual lights and so we got a little white diamond here a little more over, but you can see yet again, did not take all that stuff out. We have a lot of garbage still there. Yeah, you can see the big difference there. I'll try to wipe that a little more. Yeah, there's some haze on the inside. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, the ones over here. Now most of this stuff, you don't have to put much elbow grease into. Look at that. So you can see there's still a lot here that needs to come out. So this may have to be, you know, done over a lot more. But even for the lightness I did, that got our bar pretty well polished up. Look at that. You can see the big difference. Way big difference. Actually, I don't think that's too bad at all. I may cut and compound it one more time, but I think, I think she's good. See our big difference there? Left side, hasn't even been touched. Right side. Well, that light's glaring off in there, but see the whole right side here. So, that's how I polish these things out. Uh, usually just for the basic maintenance part, I'll hit them with, uh, you know, maybe once a month, I'll just hit them over with the cutting compound and that'll actually gloss them real up real fast. Or uh, I may use this the diamond polish, but 
usually at this point it's easy to maintain it so I'll give you a little idea on how to polish out uh, light bar lenses or headlight lenses it's the same thing so uh, please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching